month's Sunday Share and Care. My name is Fiona Brennan and I'm a clinical hypnotherapist. And what I want to do with you today is really share some insights in how you can let go of anxiety and really reach your full positive potential. So one of the um, famous quotes that Viktor Frankl said, I'm not sure if you've heard of Viktor Frankl, but he was a very famous Jewish psychiatrist who survived Auschwitz. So he has left a legacy of very uplifting and positive material that he has written about in order for us to really guide us on how to live our lives, especially through very difficult or you know um, awful situations like he went through obviously himself. So one of his very famous quotes is, between stimulus and response, there is a space. In that space, we have the power to choose our response. In our response lies our growth and our freedom. So just thinking about that for a moment, that really it's not so much what happens outside of us, but our response to the things that happen externally. That is where our freedom lies, in our awareness of ourselves and how we respond to external events. One of the things I talk about a lot in Pathway 1 of my five-star online program, The Positive Habit, is discovery. And this is all about self-discovery. And this is very, very important in order to actually really practice what, Fra what Frankl is in fact talking about. You need to have this incredible self-knowledge of what it is that would trigger you into anxiety. So one of the things I also mention, and I think this is so important, is our ability to rewire our own brains. Now Frankl knew nothing about this back in his day, not, not scientifically, but I think he did on some level, he must have understood that we have that ability to choose how we respond, he knew that. But now that we know so much more about how the brain works, we now know that the brain can literally rewire and reshape itself through the power of our thoughts. So how do we get to that place? And it's so important to understand that it's not enough to just say, you're going to think positively or I'm going to change the way I think. Because what that does is put even more pressure on ourselves, especially if you are in a place where you're already feeling low or you're suffering with anxiety. So what do we do? Well, in order to achieve self-directed neuroplasticity, where you are taking control and reshaping your own brain in a way that really serves you, we need to then start to work on a subconscious level. And this is where so many of our beliefs, our early conditionings, and our sort of emotions live in that part of our brain. And how do we access that? Well, the course that I've developed is actually really, you know, working on both levels, the conscious and the subconscious, which is what makes it very effective. To get into that level, we need to understand what it is and where our anxiety or unwanted negativity comes from. Why do we feel sometimes bad about ourselves? Why do we compare ourselves to others? Why do we behave in ways that really don't serve us, like eating too much food or drinking too much alcohol or whatever it is? What is going on beneath and behind that behavior? So once you start to explore that, you're in a much better position to slowly start to move away from it. And as always, with the place from love and compassion that is absolutely always essential and key to the work that I do. So thanks so much for watching this video. If you haven't already registered for the course, you may consider doing so because it really will help you to really fundamentally understand what I'm talking about, to put it into practice and to help you to really live the life that you deserve. So I'll see you next month for next month's Sunday Sharing Care. Have a great month. Thanks for watching.